Good afternoon. It's Mary Ellen from Create With Me, and I'm here in the Creativity Nest for an episode of Teach Me Tuesday. Normally, I'm at 2 p.m., but today I'm at 3.30. We had some delays. We had some weather here, and I was uploading a large file, and I can't do both, so um, I'm so glad. And I missed last week, so I didn't want to. <laughs> I didn't want to miss again. So chime in. Let me know you're here. We're going to do um, kind of some fun ideas using soft pastels today. Um, we've got a beautiful assortment of uh, pastel colors, and sometimes you look at them and you just you just aren't really sure how to use them. So um, I'm going to um, show you some ideas on using your um, pastels or or using pastels, and then if it's something that you're interested in, you may want to get some. And I'm going to show you some. Uh, differences in our ink and our products to uh, go along with that. So let me go ahead and um, take you right down to my desk. And this is what we're talking about today, Soft Pastel Assortment. Um, these are the colors that um, we have in our Stampin' Up! color. So although they say soft pastels, these colors aren't very soft, but the soft refers to the actual um, chalky pastel. So here's the colors in case you're interested. Uh, we've got Coastal Cabana, Daffodil Delight, Gorgeous Grape, Granny Apple Green, Mango Melody, wait, Mango Melody is here, Mossy Meadow, Night of Navy, and Puppy Parade. Okay, so those are the colors that come in the Soft, soft Pastel assortment. So there's a lot of different things you can um, do with these. Um, I like to watercolor with them. And you're going to be like chalks and watercolor. I don't know. That sounds kind of strange. But actually, um, it's really, really fun. So first thing I want to show you is it, you will probably want to have either a silicone mat or a clear block. And, and I usually use a clear block because I feel like I can see my colors better. So you, can you see what I've done there? I've taken the pastels and I've taken my take your pick tool and I've taken the spatula. Hi Cheryl, thanks for tuning in. I take your take your spatula and just give it a scrape onto your um, block or your silicone mat. And I'm I've got most of them done, but I'm going to finish off with the Knight of Navy and the um, uh, what is it? Parakeet party? No, Granny Apple Green. Oh silly me. See, I tell you, when you get on the camera, you just totally forget everything. So <laughs> there's my Knight of Navy. So I'm going to use this for um, uh, several techniques. And we're going to start out with an oldie but a goodie, okay? This is um, something that we did way back when. I've been a demonstrator for 19 years. And it's called Poppin' Pastels. Have you ever heard of it? Let me know if you have. So I told you we were going to talk about different inks. The first ink we're going to use is Versamark. Versamark is a sticky ink. Uh, oh, good. This one's um, almost new. Hi, Carol. This uh, is a, a sticky ink. It stays wet for a long time. It's great for embossing, and it's great for the pop and pastels technique. So I'm going to use this stamp, this stamp here from Soft Seedlings. This is in the... Um, July to December mini catalog and I've really enjoyed um, playing with it and actually we're going to use it in class tomorrow. So you're just going to ink up your stamp in um, Versamark. It's a clear ink so it's going to be a little bit hard to see on your cardstock but we're going to stamp it right here and um, back in the day we used to have a little tool that we would use but I'm going to use something that everyone has in their bathroom hopefully and that's q-tips and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just pick up some color with my um, q-tip and I'm just going to use my Versamark to um, hold on to that color so all I'm doing is picking it up see how it's picking up the um, I'll, sh I'll show you here in a minute I'll hold it up I'm just going to pick up some of the darker green and it's okay if we go outside of the lines because um, there's no Versamark there to hold that um, color. So, um, and you can blend, you can go back in and blend. I'm gonna add a little bit of the yellows here, maybe along the edges, maybe on the tips. This leaf is on its way out, but then we've gotta add a little brilliance 
Let's see if I can do that without it being too. Now you can eat, you can also make um, you could go back in with your orange and your green and kind of make a little bit of a brown color, adding a little bit of the yellow. See how that's turning into kind of a brown? So play around with your colors. You don't have to stick with just exactly what you have there. Uh, go back in and um, hi Jean, glad you could come. And, and add color back to the color. So you're going over it and you're kind of making um, something that is um, a little more autumn and a little bit more fall. I'm gonna give it a little, I, I should have had, oh, I have got a little paper towel here. Okay, I'm gonna take my paper towel and kind of blend it. Now I didn't do the stems. You want me to do the stems? I'll do the stems just in, I'll do them super quick in this mossy meadow. And then if I want my um, whirly birds, so do you call them whirly birds? We call them whirly birds. They're everywhere. They get in our gutters and make a mess, don't they? But we're going to add that green back onto our orange because what we want is the whirly birds are kind of like what? A crumb cake color, but we don't have a crumb cake. So we're going to make our own by adding yellow and orange and green. If you're not sure about how to do that, you can also, um, you know, get go on Google and Google like your color wheel and you can kind of see. Now, I, I would like to have a tissue that's a little softer. This one's a little damp, let me see. Except I don't know what it's damp with. All right, so I'm gonna just show you that. I, this can come off, I can get that off, but see how pretty that is? It just pops. That's why we call it popping pastel. So we can add a, a, like an assortment. It's kind of a watercolor look, but all we're doing is using our dry pastels. So that's one thing you can do with the soft pastel assortment. And another thing you can do is you can actually watercolor with it. My favorite paper to use, I didn't mention that, the paper that I'm using is the shimmer white paper. I love the shimmer white paper whenever I'm doing um, anything with um, water, I, I prefer the Shimmer White. It's smooth and it has a coating and it won't absorb my um, water. If I'm using a lot of water, I definitely don't want to use Basic White because that paper will just suck up that water. So, well, I, yeah, Carol says I'm cutting in and out. Um, I'm sorry, that could be the weather, um, but I when once it posts, it should be perfectly fine. So I'm going to keep going. Um, here's the two inks I was talking about. We have two black inks. We have stays on and we have memento. Um, I want to just quickly go over this because I don't want you to make mud when you're um, doing anything with pastels and water. Memento is a water-based ink. So it is fantastic when you are using um, alcohol-based things such as um, blends because the um, alcohol will not reactivate the um, watercolor ink and it'll be perfect. Stazon is an alcohol-based ink and if you use blends with Stazon, you just make mud. Water-based ink, if you use water with it, you just make mud. So we wanna do the opposite, water-based ink with an alcohol pen, like a, such as our blends, and then with a, when we're using water, which is what we're gonna be doing here, we want to use stays on because that is um, alcohol based and that is the opposite. Uh, it sometimes is a little confusing, but um, there's a lot of resources out there um, to help you. So I'm using the beautiful bird from, oh, I didn't bring the stamp set over here. This, this, this pad's a little on the dry side. Do I have another one on my desk? No. Well, let's give it a try. Okay, well, that's that's okay. All right, so some of the things that you can use, you can use a Bunder pen and pick up, this is a glycerin-based uh, product. You could pick up the um, pastels with that. Um, I like to use the um, water painters, and when I'm using a water painter, I always bring in a um, paper towel. So this has just got water in the barrel, one of the things that confuses people is that um, when you go to take it off and on, it goes the opposite way. So it's not righty-tighty, it's actually righty-loosey, 
and lefty tidy. So <laughs> if you're, if you're um, confused on why it's not working, that's exactly why. So we're going to pick up some color. And, and the nice thing about this um, bird is that he can be any, uh, he's kind of um, non-distinct. So we're going to make him whatever we want him, want him to be. So I'm going to pick up some of the um, blue Knight of Navy um, pastels and see how it just turns into a paint. Gorgeous. It's super, super gorgeous. I'm not going to just color all this, but I'm going to, I want you to see um, I just squeeze it out till it runs clear and then I'm going to pick up some of my uh, Poppy Parade. So what bird am I making? Does anyone know? I, I'm, I love the Eastern Bluebird. Oh there I just gave it away. I love the Eastern Bluebird so um, I'm going to um, do uh, kind of my version of an Eastern Bluebird. I'm going to pick up some of the yellow for his uh, under his wing here to give me a, something to blend and maybe his belly and head and then I'm gonna try to bring in a little bit more of that blue I'm just you can keep layering on so isn't that pretty it's just like watercoloring um, really really pretty let me show you some other samples so remember I was telling you about the brown hi Tanya so you can um, just keep going over. I've got the brown, I've got um, the puppy parade, and then I've got the yellow, and then um, a little bit of the green, and that makes that pretty, pretty brown. And then this is Coastal Cabana. And then this is just an assortment of blue and uh, yellow, and it, it makes, it blends and makes that little green. So um, here's a pretty card that um, uses that stamp set, which I don't know the name of. So if you know it, please put it in the comments. Um, I knew it. I had it here and all of a sudden I'm drawing a blank. It's... Mm. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Help a girl out. Um, so, so pretty with using your pastels. So the other thing I wanted to show you, I'm going to bring in another piece of shimmery white. Remember, shimmery white is my favorite for using these. You can color directly on your paper and make a beautiful background. So you could just take your pastel and color some color onto. The thing about pastels is you're going to keep a little bit of texture. Now I'm not doing, I don't have a plan here, so I'm kind of just, I'm just kind of doing it willy-nilly because I want to, I want you to see how it blends out. Um, but if I, if I knew, you know, if I had a plan, then I'd, I'd probably do things a little different. So I'm going to make sure my water painter is good and juicy. And then all I'm going to do is turn this chalk or these pastels into paint. And I'm going to show you a card that I finished doing this. But one thing you'll see depends on the pastel that sometimes it keeps a little bit of texture. So um, that is kind of the fun thing about pastels. They don't always completely blend out and it gives you a um, nice texture along with your color. So this is a great way to make a watercolor background and let me show you a card that I did um, using the pastels on the background. Here's a card. I just put pastels directly onto my paper. There's some Coastal Cabana, some of that Poppy Parade, the uh, Daffodil Delight, a little bit of Granny Apple Green. And then when I got done and it was all dry, then I stamped with um, some floral and added my tag and my ribbon. So super, super pretty. The other thing you can do with this is you can um, wet your paper. I've got a little bit of blue in there, but I'm going to blend it out and hopefully I'll be okay. I'm going to pick up my Poppy Parade and I'm going to bring my Poppy Parade in here. I'm just being very quick and easy. I'm going to bring in some Mango Melody, blending them together. A little bit of Granny Apple Green. And it might look like I'm just making a complete mess, but I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with this with a card that I made. So looking at this part right here, okay, it's kind of um, looks a little messy. 
Hi, Joey. I'm glad you could join us. Um, but what I did was I stamped in Stazon with this beautiful Hello Harvest stamp set. I did the pumpkin and I stamped it right on there. So I got I got a little bit of the green, a little bit of the yellow, and it doesn't look pretty here, but you don't even notice here. It's super, super pretty. And then what I did was I came back in with my pastel and hit some of those um, artist highlight marks just like that just where the ridges are on the pumpkin. And so that's how I did this part. And then this part right here, you would just stamp with your flowers directly on your uh, shimmery white paper. And then you're gonna take, I would take my, um, either my blending pen or my fine tip, and I would just pick up that color. Um, and then I would color it in just like so. So I'm pretend, Pretend I stamped something there. Do I have a bird? No, I don't have one stamp. And then I'm just picking it up. I'm, I'm coloring in my, my flower. Look, look it. I'm making a freeform flower. <laughs> don't. <laughs> you know, sometimes you just got to be a kid. Look at that. So I'm going to write my um, bunny pen off just like I do my um, water painters. I'm going to pick up a little bit of the yellow and put that in. So you can pretend if that was um, stamped, I'd just be coloring in with color. So um, there's so many things you can do with these pastels. They're really, really beautiful. So the last thing I want to show you, I talked to you about texture and you're probably going to laugh at this, but if you use watercolor paper, let me turn that upside down because I think it should go like this. Now, if you use watercolor paper, the nice thing about the pastels, and yes, I said nice, is that um, you can keep the texture. So I, I, I colored my, you can see where I scribbled my pastels or my chalks. And then I came in with my um, uh, blend, my uh, aqua painter, one of my big ones. And then I just colored that, but it kept that texture. So um, I need to make this into a card. The other day when I showed this um, to a group of demonstrators, they saw the beach. Joey probably sees the beach because she's there in Hawaii. Um, I think I saw like um, a kid scene, like a coloring book scene, but I didn't have any stamp sets. I could see a tree with someone on a swing, but I didn't have that. So if you have any ideas, put it in the comments. I'd love to see them because I'm going to make this into a card and then I'll post it to the group. So that is my, um, that is my day today on uh, Teach Me Tuesday. I'm going to take you back to my... Um, face there and there is the August host code and I'm going to let you know about a couple specials that is happening right now that you might not be aware of. So we're in celebration. What that means is for the months of July and August, for every $50 you purchase, you get a um, free item. So um, as of today, new items came out. I think there's nine or 10 new items. So um, I'll post those on my um, header and you'll want to check those out and see uh, what's new and what you might be interested in. So I'm gonna, at that, I'm gonna say goodbye and um, I hope you guys have a great day. Bye everybody.